Hello, I'm going to give you one reason why I don't believe in religion. This is one of many, and it's not like this one thing, if it was different in religion, that I would change my mind. But a very important reason is I love women. Now, this is not an attack on monogamy. I myself am entirely monogamous. I have no moral objection to other types of relationships. I don't personally believe they would work, but my personal philosophy is if it doesn't hurt anyone and there is genuine love, then fine. And in that vein, this is also not at all about homosexuality or transgendered people. I'm not myself homosexual, but I have no problem with anyone who is. It just doesn't bother me. It, if you, once again, if it's love and it's making you and the other person happy, as long as nobody's being forced, as long as nobody is being abused, physically, mentally, sexually, I have no problem with it. Now, what this is about is, other than, of course, physically, I am a man, I love a woman's smarts. I love talking with educated women. I love a good debate, an exchange of opinion, because women can sometimes make you think in a different way than you did before. They sometimes just have a completely different perspective on things than we men do, and I hope that doesn't sound sexist. I, I don't see a problem with differences between people. If we were all the same, it would be incredibly boring. The problem arises when differences leads to conflict, but that's not really because of the differences, that's, you know, just something we have to grow out of, you know? If we're going to try to become mature adults, we have to accept differences. And women can just inspire new thoughts. You know, poetry has been written about them. Entire novels have been written about the way we relate to them. I'm fascinated by women. And my problem with religion, as far as this particular problem goes, and maybe this isn't for all religion, I suppose it is mainly for the three monotheistic religions, the desert dogmas, as Pat Condell calls them. They would have me ignore all this and just consider the woman a second-class citizen, someone, almost something to just use, some, someone to just leave at home and she has to take care of the house and raise the children, and she'd better have dinner ready by the time you're ready to eat it, or else. This whole patriarchal, traditional system, I just can't support it. I realize that we all have roles that we have to play, and I don't know some will argue that you can't have both people in a relationship be on the exact same level, and maybe not in all cases. Maybe there will be times where at least one of them is better at something than the other, you know? And that's fine, as long as both parties have respect for each other, It's my opinion. And I just can't get behind considering the woman lower, certainly not that much lower, 
you know, made from one of Adam's ribs. And no, I, I just, I consider that practically criminal. It's, it's a complete waste of all the potential. I think women should be allowed to have an education. In some countries ruled by some of these desert dogmas, they're not allowed to. They're not allowed to express themselves. They're just a plaything for the man, a trophy. You know, some... an incubation machine. And... I think that's just... the complete... completely wrong. I, th I think... I could never get behind something that taught me that, you know, a double X chromosome means that you're automatically inferior. So that's it for this one. That was one of my reasons for not believing in any religion. In this case, mainly the monotheistic ones. I've heard that some of the others are more respectful towards women, praise them in some cases. I think that's wonderful. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.